Hey, Brandon here with your weekly update. So uh, first thing first, um, we are being 71% of the way through the 3.0 revision of Stormlight 5, which is due uh, last day of March. So um, moving along. Um, I'm actually like 1.7 days behind currently, so uh, I'm going to try to earn that back. Just hit a few things that I need to do more work on. Um, uh, again, still looking pretty good. Uh, Skyward Legacy for my revision is at, bing, 45%. Um, so I made some, some pretty good progress on that the last couple of weeks. Uh, that's moving along too. So what have we been having go on? Well... We launched our backer kit campaign um, for the Words of Radiance Leatherbound, and it's been a big week. Um, we are doing pretty well on that, so thank you everyone for your enthusiasm. If for some reason you didn't hear, there is a new secret project uh, that is part of this crowdfunding campaign. It's on backer kit this time instead of uh, Kickstarter. We had um, a lot of great experiences partnering with backer kit uh, before, and so we're trying them out as a main crowdfunding source. Um, as part of this campaign, we have plushies for the various spren. Um, basically, the theme is you get to pick your Order of Knights Radiant, and then you can get merch based on that if you feel so inclined. If you don't feel so inclined, you can just get the Leatherbound shipped to you with no merch. I know some of you just want only the book. Well, we, we've got that option for you as well. Uh, but new secret project, new secret project. Uh, we'll be doing a reveal on that coming up in the next two weeks, I believe, about two weeks from now. Uh, I'll do a reading for that so you can see what it is that we're going to be uh, releasing. I have seen people theorizing uh, correctly about what this secret project is. So uh, you can go and join the fan discussions and conversations and see what you think that it is. Uh, all I've said is that it's the future era of the Cosmere, so Cosmere Space Age, um, and it is, I believe, the furthest along we've ever seen anything. I'm going to show off some of these plushies. Uh, there were a lot of questions about this on my last live stream. We'll be doing another live stream this week on Friday, uh, 6 o'clock uh, Mountain Standard Time. Daylight. Daylight. Well, yeah, Mountain Daylight Time. Here is our Sil plushie, um, our honor spread. Uh, as we talked about, we tried to make these look pretty nice. They are, here's in contrast to the Sunlit Man uh, hardcover. You can see how big. Uh, Sill is here, and these come with uh, with uh, cool costumes on them and things like that. Uh, I think they turned out really well. My favorite is Wendell here. Uh, this is just exactly as I imagine Wendell. Um, he is uh, he is a spren after my own heart. Um, and then we thought we would also show off our um, our um, our high spren. I looked at it and thought, oh, it's Ziggy Stardust. Um, <laughs> we've definitely got some uh, some channeling, some Bowie going on with this guy. Um, but this is uh, this is our our high spren. Um, you can get these as an add-on. They aren't um, part of the main campaign because we knew not everybody would want a plushie. Um, but uh, you can go add on whichever plushie you would like to get um, as part of that. And, uh, or if you just want digital, we are selling the ebook and the audiobook of the New Secret Project. Uh, and as I mentioned the audiobook, uh, if you missed the news about Audible, uh, we are bringing the Secret Projects to Audible after a year of me kind of leaning on them to improve their terms. And they have stepped up and done so. Um, not as uh, much as I want to someday see in this industry, but um, I felt good about Audible trying hard to at least do something. And they were willing to improve terms uh, for all authors, uh, not just for me. Uh, obviously, I can't take sole credit for this. Um, I think there are some shifts in the market that are um, pushing them this way. But I do like to think that I am the person that kind of shoved them off the proverbial cliff 
Um, so they had to uh, shove them off. Maybe let's say we shove them up to start climbing that mountain, uh, a, be- a better metaphor. Um, they are going to be pr- improving royalties for all authors, uh, particularly independently published authors. Uh, sometime this year is when they're going to release it. We're doing basically a trial run. Um, to, to see how it works out their new their new system. So uh, go read my blog post on that. Um, Daniel Green did a very nice video uh, talking about about that. Maybe we'll link that in the liner notes. Um, uh, he is always up to date on all the news that's happening. Um, mostly we're going to have to wait and see when they reveal it to everybody what it looks like. But they did promise me certain minimums um, of improvements. And so for our live stream this Friday... Uh, we have new technology. We have entered the um, the the modern era, uh, which means that I can see the comments that people are making during the live streams. So I tend to re- respond more quickly, and I tend to enjoy responding to what the chat is saying. So uh, we're not going to do the question thread this time. Uh, we're just going to let me take uh, questions from the chat. It's what I did last time. Um, and we'll see, but this is likely how we'll do it for the foreseeable future. Uh, maybe we'll move back to doing um, this probably for the spoiler live streams uh, so that we can cultivate the questions ahead of time. But for now, I'm going to try to respond directly to the chat. Uh, it moves very quickly, and I don't always see everybody, but I will do my best uh, to get your questions answered. So join us for our stream where I will bring out the other seven plushies. You can see them in the background and kind of hold them up for you and uh, let you ask questions about those uh, in case you're wanting to see what your favorite Spren plushie is going to look like. So last thing, hey, the Sunlit Man. Um, this is the fourth of the secret projects. It now has its commercial version put out by Tor. came out uh, just last week. So um, if you've been waiting to read this book, you can pick it up now. It's uh, People are really enjoying it. It's future era of the Cosmere also. Um, it is... Stormlight adjacent. It's got a lot of cool little connections to, uh, to other things, but also it's just, uh, I think, a really fun story. Um, so, uh, Sunlit Man, go pick up your copy right now. They have a whole bunch of them at the new uh, Barnes & Noble in, um, in American Fork or Lehigh or Pleasant Grove. We're three cities in your at- act right at this point, and I'm not sure which one it's in, but you who live here know what I'm talking about. Uh, very nice new store. I went by. I did sign some shelf stock, but it's gone by now. Uh, I'll try to get some more for you, but hey, go pick up a copy of Sunlit Man, and thank you so much. Uh, I will be back on Friday. We'll see it live stream, and then next week with our normal, least scheduled weekly update. Thank you so much.